Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 29th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and world weather. Start note here, the last 48 hours, looking at our sun. Always an amazing sight here, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is the last 48 hours as we are observing multiple C-class solar flares, moderate at best. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming plasma prominence on the left-hand side there in the southern hemisphere. And as well, active sunspot regions turning in for an Earth-facing show. During a time we're actually seeing a pretty intense coronal hole affecting us. Look at the last 48 hours, outgoing a couple sunspot regions, one fading out. Not too much to talk about in the outgoing position. Having a look at multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of the biggest events. There are those C-class solar flares I was talking about. And as well, that massive coronal hole with a plasma filament stretching all the way around it. Let's hope that that filament stays attached during an earth-facing view. We've already dodged a couple bullets this week. Having a look at another light here, just some amazing imagery of that big coronal hole. And as well, five active sunspot regions on the earth-facing disk right now. Coronal holes are a cooled region on our sun, and at times when they're earth-facing, they can produce some pretty intense solar winds in which they have forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Our solar winds are coming in over 600 kilometers per second and sometimes, but right now over 500 for sure. Another light here, amazing images of the four active sunspot regions. Current space weather conditions, we are under a G1 geomagnetic storm watch during this coronal hole wind stream impact, weak power grid, power grid fluctuations. Solar winds are coming in at 570 kilometers per second at this moment. And showing here the solar X-ray flux, moderate and a couple strong C-class solar flares, at least five of them throughout the day today. Solar proton flux remains average and geomagnetic activity hyped right up to KP5 earlier today and throughout the day was a KP4. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing Earth as the yellow planet and as well all the space energy thwarted from the sun. You can see a CME coming off from one of those solar flares shot out right at Mercury. Another look here at the energies taking off from our sun. This is from Lasco 2, showing that CME in the southern hemisphere. So that was an Earth-facing C-class solar flare producing a coronal mass ejection. You can see when it's earth facing, you do get the small halo and as well, you'll see the static energy in the screen already coming in. Having a look at our real time solar winds, just showing the way it's been the last seven days before this coronal hole hit. I think we maxed out at over 600 and maybe 628, 639 kilometers per second. Wow, that is some super fast solar winds can see the density was up to about six the density seems to be more when it's a uh, a solar flare or coronal mass ejection event having a look at our magnetosphere here see how it's holding up these are showing the solar winds intense red being the fast sometimes over 600 kilometers per second solar winds this is showing the last 40 or last four hours from today Quite a few big impacts here. And as well, another map here showing the pressure planes. I want to welcome all of the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you so much for following along. I appreciate the love and support to this channel and as well, all of you following along every day, getting in the comments section. Much love to you all and thanks for tuning in today. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as it started out with a big one. Uh, the day after I put out an earthquake watch video, 6.0 is saying go Vanuatu. 
earthquake there, 74 kilometer depth. No real deep earthquakes through Fiji today. Timor Leste, 4.2. That's probably about the deepest, if not the one in South America, as well as 5.1 here. Bankulu, Indonesia, 4.2 there. Myanmar, notable, and as well a lot of activity up into the Indian plate. Tajikistan, as well Iran, 4.3 there in Greece. Interesting activity is bubbling through Campi Flegri. Mid-Atlantic Ridge reporting North Atlantic 5.1 earthquake and as well a 4.1 earthquake here, Norwegian Sea. Not much to talk about across North America. It's been pretty quiet today, no major earthquakes. Yesterday we saw upwards 4.3 in California. Caribbean plate, very quiet. South America, a little bit active today. Deep earthquake, this is what I'm talking about, could be the deepest last 24 hours, 129 kilometer depth. But still, pretty quiet and still not enough energy released after that 6.0 earthquake. Especially when we are dealing with this coronal whole wind stream, pressure is on our planet right now. Just look at the last seven days for shakers across the world. And for those of you that don't know, elevated rings are showing the depth of the earthquakes the last seven days. Interesting and notable deep earthquake Italy. And as well, antipode to that, where most of the time we get the deep earthquakes in Fiji. And as well, South America seeing those deep plates, deep quakes and movement. But notable, Italy, Greece, can't be flagry. Stay aware and prepared. Just saying. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com, showing the major systems affecting North America this week. Monday into Tuesday, low-pressure system, northeastern United States and Atlantic provinces. Big, cold, high-pressure moves in for most of North America, dipping temperatures right down across the continent. Some states will see negative digits below freezing temperatures. Big lows on both coasts right now in the long range. First week in November, big high pressure cold moves in from the north. At the same time, strong North Pacific low lows are just training in towards the BC coastline and Washington this week. So heads up, you're going to see some pretty intense weather here. Fourth into the fifth with that low that grinds into the coastline. And then long-range forecast, big low affecting Ontario and the coastline. Overlooking Europe and as well Africa, Southeast Asia. Intense weather will be moving through central Spain, Italy, and then flooding into Greece. As these multiple strong lows moving in from the North Atlantic right now. November 1st into the 2nd is when Ireland will see the big system and then another big one moves in fourth into the fifth. And then they all join forces there over northern Europe. And will be very wet and snowy event for a lot of areas. And as well, some intense daily evaporation rains moving through Africa this week. Having a look over the Pacific Ocean and as well Australia, New Zealand, notable here. Cyclone development. Monday into Tuesday, making landfall north New Zealand, heading southward and then joining forces with another low, and then that will linger around. So a lot of rain coming towards New Zealand. And then in the long range forecast, the same with Australia, the east coastline, with a system developing there. Could see possible cyclone development off the southeastern coast of Australia in the long range forecast. Stay tuned to Daily Do as these forecasts do change daily sometimes. Going to leave you here overlooking the North Pacific right now as we have multiple lows that are going to be grinding straight up into BC and Alaska and into the Bering Strait. A lot of moisture is moving around right now and some pretty intense cold temperatures are moving down from the north as the polar vortex is setting up for winter 2023. And I've been keeping you updated on the latest 
So here is the latest today for October 29th, showing our upper level winds, signifying our polar vortex as it is trying to set up. It's a little oblonged right now, but still some intense low pressure and, or sorry, high pressure and very cold temperatures flooding down into North America right now. Parts of Alberta are below freezing, if not minus 11 to minus 20 with the wind chill. So yeah, stay safe, stay warm, everybody. Here is a look at our upper level winds for today as they are going to shift dramatically over the next couple weeks. You will see that live here every day. If you tune in, you subscribe, you hit the bell so you don't miss an update. I love you all. Peace be with you all. And thank you so much for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.